Okay, Coach Carr, first things first, congratulations on a master's in, of science? Yes, sports management. What is it? Sports management. Uh, sports yeah. management. Congratulations. Thank you. What do you got? Your undergrad from? Iowa State. And, and then I got an associate's degree from Iowa Central, so I got kind of three degrees. Junior college is kind of like, what? Well, don't is what don't it is. laugh. That's oh, a, no, that's good. That I mean, matters. I, you got to take the time to get after it. So. No question. Um, Some personal development and just working with our administrative and working with our AD and just getting better at uh, managing business, you know, the fundraisers we do. Just everything really so it helped for my personal development so it was great i think eventually it makes you in the running to be a head coach no question about that and I, I, they look at that whether you think they do or not i think they do yeah it's all like who you know and then you know your accolades as a coach and the people you know and the connections you have uh, in the wrestling community can really definitely get you opportunity for a coach or you know, anything really. so just be in position to be ready so USA Wrestling with some big curveballs. Big curveballs. We don't know where UW or uh, U23 is going to be. It's going to be in Ohio. It's going to be in Ohio. It's going to be in Ohio. Hey, it's not going to be in Ohio. It's in Nebraska. Budgetary issues. It's hard for you guys to take people all the way out to Nebraska. How huge is this that you guys can have this? This is big. We actually went out to Iowa, did the juniors, so we took six guys out there. We, we uh, did drive out there, so that was kind of gangster. Then we ran our own similar event, U23s. Uh, the duels went well, getting our guys matches. Nap State came. Yes, Ian State. brought his team, that's right. Correct. So, you know, Josh gave us a call, Josh Moore, Cleveland State, and kind of put this together, and we were like, heck yeah, we'll drive up. And it's all about getting matches. These guys need matches from last year, not getting able to compete. you got to get some matches. So, freestyle, folk style, we'll take all the matches we can get to give these guys a, a ready experience when it's time to go in the fall. So. You and I talked in Pittsburgh in December. Werner wrestled in that event, sure. had a great match, had a nice lift to a fall. Yep. And that was the, the last time he wrestled live against another person in a singlet was that event. And then your administration lets you guys wrestle in the MAC tournament. Yeah. Huge curveball. But you got to wrestle in the MAC tournament. How tough was it not having a season and try and go into that MAC tournament? Just keep these guys focused on a goal at hand. Being just, it's hard to get them excited to train for something they're not necessarily guaranteed to get the opportunity. At first we were told no, hey, let's stay focused, we might get in, we might get in. And just keeping those guys motivated was really the challenge. Uh, plus families getting COVID, people's getting COVID, it, it was really hard. So uh, keeping those guys focused on the goal, the potential to compete, but also just getting them to say, hey, this train is good for you no matter if it's this year or next year. Put in the time now, no matter if you get the chance. And you know, you gotta get matches before you wrestle the conference tournament. And we weren't able to, so it showed that we were a little rusty. And, uh, it, you know, didn't perform well. So you guys have tough MAC tournament, but I think the season obviously didn't wasn't conducive to having a MAC tournament. And like you said, it's hard to keep them focused. But for you personally, St. Louis was was as good as it could get this year for well, you personally, right? Yeah, I mean, getting to go, I, I had to get tickets and drive down and go watch my brother compete for a national title and. Uh, it was good just to see the whole scope of the deal. Good to see that there were fans there, uh, there were families there watching their kids, uh, their loved ones, their, their sons compete for a national title for being all American. There were a lot of great stories, and I uh, tell you what, I'm glad I got to experience it. Uh, would love to have you know represented for Lock Haven, but it was good to to sit in the stands and get that experience with my parents, very intimate, and watch my brother every round and being nervous as heck and watching him be able to attain a goal that he wanted for so long. So it was awesome. Being an Ohio boy, so it was cool. What is the age difference between you and David? Uh, we are 10 years apart. Ten, exactly 10 years? Yep. yep, yep. That's crazy. 11, so 11, so you remember, yeah. he's born, they brought him home, changing this diaper, watching him. What is that experience like for you personally? It's good. It's just seeing the growth and watching him just grow into being consistent with his training going from like, all right, I'm kind of figuring this stuff out to like, no, this is what I'm good at. This is what I want to do. This is what I want to do. And just having my dad, my family support him and learning to be consistent through his lifestyle and the way he thought. And I think that really helped him really jump levels in high school and then jump another level uh, going to Iowa State with Metcalf, St. John's, and Dresser. Just got to another level of confidence and then it was his time, I guess, in March. So being consistent for basically from ninth grade on really helped him reach a goal that It'll come quick, like high school to college, and then 
boom, I'm in the NCAA tournament. It comes quick, and he was, he was ready to go. Besides matches, ultimately today, what do you want Lockhaven, Matt Town athletes to get out of this tournament? Uh, just actually the team bonding. Like putting the team on the bus, on the van, driving up, rooting for each other, cheering for each other, uh, excited about points put on the board, and just getting out there and scrapping. That's what you're a college wrestler, 20, 21, 19 years old. Go out there, use some energy, get after it. So we're just excited for the team bonding, really. Any roller coasters in your guys' future? You got tickets. You got tickets. They give you tickets. You know that to Cedar Point. You get oh, the glitter. I, I, I got a big recruiting Monday, so I'm. I'm You're not gonna. No, I'm. Are some of the back. guys? I don't know yet. We got two cars. We're just not sure, but I got to get back, and get ready for a big recruiting day on Monday. So uh, I'm not. All you do is work. All I do is work. literally all you do is work. Hey, I want to win, man. I want to compete. I want to be able to be one of those guys that represents Lock Haven with a strong front. So. All right. You got anything else for me? No, man. Get on those roller coasters. I love it. Thanks again for the interview.